up, guys? Hello. I'm inquiring about your flag and stuff. I don't know. Is that the... It is? Okay. I was going to ask. I'm really bad with flags. No, you're so good. I'm really bad. Uh, so, uh, I heard you guys, there's always a good people out here doing this. What do you, what is, what is the goal, if I may ask? Yeah, so, not just us, but honestly, like, there's like, this is like a movement that's going, like, throughout the state and throughout the country. Yeah, but, I see uh, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, I'll tell you our goal here and, like, how that's kind of, like, the same one that everyone else has. Okay. It's like, um, it's to divest and disclose. So, at UF, we would like them to, first of all, like, you know, disclose the information, like, as to, like, you know, their, like, financials. Because as students here, you know, where we actually, like, provide a lot of money to you for our tuition. Okay. We would just like, you know, for there to be, a, like, more transparency in terms of, like, where they invest and where they fund. Especially when they, you know, have ties with, like, organizations like yeah. Lockheed Martin. Eh, sorry, Lockheed, Lockheed Martin. Martin. So, like, uh, even, like, the new building that we have here, like, the Malachowski building. Okay. So, you know, they have ties, you know, with, like, people who, like, fund, like, the whole thing with Israel. Um, and Lockheed Martin is literally like a military manufacturing company, so they literally, literally sell weapons and like drones and stuff like that to help Israel. Like, as well as like Lockheed Martin, just in general, like they have a reputation of like causing pollution and things like that, which gives like specifically in Florida, the closest place is about uh, close to Tampa, where there's like a community that's facing. Uh, cancer and a lot of things like that because Lockheed Martin went in there and um, basically did a bunch of pollution and didn't clean it up. So, trying to... You think, you think more so than other companies? Because I'm sure a lot of other companies do pollution stuff too. Well, yeah, but also they manufacture arms, which is just another thing that... You guys are against them making arms? Yeah. Okay. Like trying to divest from war, basically. You know, because why, why is U.S. making, you know, a profit off of arms manufacturing because it, it's one of those things where it's like you know us uh, specifically here it's the fact that they're like selling their weapons to israel which has been occupying palestine is currently committing like the genocide there like it, if the u.s wants to make military weapons for the u.s then it's like you know that's fine like public security sure but like yeah for like literally like you know funding like this genocide and like providing weapons for the genocide like yeah, yeah. just not against that but like what do you outside, wait, sorry, what do you sorry what do you say to people who Talk about what Hamas does and how it does genocide and stuff like that. What's that? Like genocide involves eradicating an entire an attempt to eradicate an entire group. Of people. Okay, so they're just doing. So, um, do you see them as a terroristic group, this Hamas? I don't support Hamas. However, Israel has Israel displaced over 750,000 people in 1948 and has since, like, they've been displaced, they've occupied their land and built the illegitimate state of Israel on their land. So, at some point, there's going to be a group that goes against that. Another yeah. thing, too, that, that's kind of where, where everything kind of gets really messy, right? Yeah. Is that, like, you know, Israel right now is literally, like, we will not stop, like, you know, like, our invasion, like, of, like, Palestine until we get rid of them. And so it's, like, all, like, the collateral damage that, like, they've done just to, like, you know, eradicate Hamas, like, under that pretense. Yeah. So it's, like, what about, like, every single, like, innocent other human being? So it's, like, it's, like, th this genocide is literally just not about Hamas. Yeah. Well, At this point, it's, like, there's not an emphasis on, like, trying to save human lives and, like, protect people at this point. Like, it's very, um... Can't find the word I'm looking for, but uh, reckless. Okay. You know, at this point, and it's like I don't know. But um, especially because they have the the arms from the U.S. military, so they have the technology to like do, you know, like precision. So, so Israel and Palestine, and Palestine with Hamas's help, both kill each other. Not in the same kind of like level. Not on the same level. Yeah. So, so you think so, you so think little. Israel kills Palestine people more than? Yeah. I don't think. Like. They okay. Yeah. Are. I mean, at this point, like, you know, we know at least like forty thousand. A lot of people, versus... you know, they they tend to be like, you know, like, oh, but remember October seventh? Remember October seventh? 
and it's like, okay, and so what's been going on for the last 70 years, too? Yeah. I just remember reading something on, or seeing something on YouTube about Hamas killed, like, so many people and children and stuff like that. Yeah. I well, and I don't know who to thing, believe, tell you the truth. It doesn't, like, discredit that or, like, make that less bad. Right. But I think it doesn't justify it to be like, oh, yes, this terrorist attack happened to us, and so we're going to put terror on someone else, you know? Like, we, we don't condone, like, you know, war. And, and, and like, yeah. you know, in a the case whole of point is, like, like, to get it to stop, right? Exactly. Okay. We want, like, a, a permanent like a ceasefire. ceasefire. Okay. Yeah. Not temporal, but permanent. Like. So, I mean, I'm, I'm sure that there are other things going on in other countries where there's, like, war and stuff right now, probably. There are mm-hmm. yeah, there's, like, but Congo and stuff. Yeah. Why would we fixate on what's happening in Israel and Palestine as opposed to other things, because other places? It's the worst one right now. Yeah. It's the worst one right now? that the numbers of Palestine surpassed the Bosnian genocide already. Okay. Within the first six weeks already. Not so, only... Yeah. Oh, you go oh, uh, Not only that, too, but... Um, so, the U.S. The U.S. has, like, a lot of ties with Israel just because, like, our roots here, like, how this country came to be, we came from, like, you know, and and colonialism. So, it's, like, we... Like, as the U.S., like, as just not even, like, it's not even, like, a Republican or a Democrat thing, but just, like, as, like, the U.S., as the country, as it rules, like, it has to support every instance of, like, colonialism and imperialism. And it's, like, the U.S., that's why they support Israel so much. But when you even look back, not too long ago, but, like, you know, the, like, Ukraine and Russian war, which is still going on right now. Yeah, yeah, it is. So, you know, if you kind of, like, pay, like, you know, like, look through more details, you kind of see the real big double standard. Yeah, I mean, if you ask me, I don't think we should really get involved with anything that's going on anywhere else but here. I think I think we shouldn't be sending our money to Ukraine or, or Israel or anything because, you know, what do we need here? We need Medicare for all, first yeah. off, uh, and, and we'd actually save money if that happened. That too. Completely agree. But, oh, I'll, I'll let you finish. Okay. I'm sorry, what was your question? Oh, so, so I was going to say, so then, based on what you said right now, would you agree then, kind of like on the stance of like, with Lockheed Martin, like, you know, we could you know, where, where they manufacture military weapons, when they're actually selling them and, like, aiding in other wars, would you be against that? Because that could be money that could be spent for, like, health care. I, 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 I think the problem with the U.S. is we try to get our hands in everything. Yeah. And, and we, we tell other people how to write their foreign policies. And mm-hmm. it, and, like, I'm, I, unless there's a clear advantage to help somebody, or if it's an ally for some special thing they really need help. Other than that, I don't really think we should be sending money because we have a lot of things to take care of over here. No, we agree. Well, and why are we spending more money on, like, the military than, like, education and health care? Yeah, I mean, I, I agree there. I mean, well, well, I guess that's one of the reasons why we're the strongest is because we spend the most money in the military. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we have the most updated stuff, and, and our mindset is is American mindset. I mean, if you go on, if you're in a war, and you you want there to be an American there because they, the, the mindset is, is is really good for that. Uh, but I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's tricky. Yeah, I wish I think I wish things were slightly different, but. Um, I mean, I'm not right and I'm not left. I'm like in the middle. So I take from both in, in what, what makes sense and stuff like that. And, and it's been my experience that, uh, like, I, I, didn't, I didn't even think you guys would answer any of my questions because, to tell you the truth, whenever I speak to people on the left, they never want to talk about anything. Yeah. And they, they treat me as, as hostile just for asking questions. So, um, but the way you've expressed this to me about your reason for being here and what what's important is that what a lot of the groups are was, was that what, what a lot of the others would would say the, the main two things of di- disclosure and divestment yeah and like we're one of the so the disclosure one is like that's not even political it was just like we were just like transparency as to like where money goes when we're in these institutions so, so um, you're here so you're here to bring attention to that yeah, and to try to put pressure onto the, to the government. Like, oh, okay. um, but, but it's one of those things where it's like, again, 
like we know very well that it's like at UF and you know we're just one college campus and so it's like we're not going to fundamentally change what happens in Florida in the nation but then that's why it's not just our movement but it's like we have other college campuses okay now I have to ask a question about that yeah, yeah. a lot of a lot of people in those other campuses are doing things which which are illegal Oh, okay, I'm all for expressing Fifth Amendment right, but what about, let's not ignore the fact that what about the people who stop people from going to certain areas, they lock arms, stuff like that. You, what's that? Well, there's videos of it online of people doing that. So you, so you, th you don't think people are blocking people from going places? It's really weird, and we, we've kind of been dealing with it here just because, like, again, us being here for a couple of days now. And couple it's like. Days, three weeks. <laughs> so, what, 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 what for three weeks? Sorry? We've oh. been here for three weeks. Oh, you've been here three weeks. Yeah, okay. So, like, it, it just, you know, from like what we've had to deal with here, right? Just right, like right. a tiny, like, sample from like a bigger yeah. picture. But it's like, uh, we've been getting like a lot more just kind of like, I don't want to say attention, but like interactions and also, no, interactions doesn't mean the right well, word. What? Like, pushback, I'd say. Yeah. Um, and it, it really just comes down be because of our, like, Palestine Front. Because, like, yeah. you know, there'll be, you know, for, let me give you an example. So, students here very well know, um, typically, like, not in the summers, but, you know, the fall and the spring, the main semesters. And this is just a small example, like, it'll seem super weird, but then I'll connect up. So, around 12 in the afternoon when people are eating lunch here, there comes, like, this, like, Christian guy with, like, a speaker and a megaphone. Yeah, I've seen that guy. He's, oh, awesome. he's, he's just, he repeats, he... Yeah, he, but, yeah. so, I, I was going to get, so... So that's a speaker and a megaphone, right? Right. And so we are not allowed to, you know, have, like, even, like, a little speaker just to play our own music. Like, not even, like, you know, anything costing, literally just... just why, would, why would you not be able to when they do? So Exactly. That's, that's so so we, the the, when the cops come to us, no they, so when the cops come to us, they're like, oh, that's amplified sound. Mm -hmm. And so you guys can't do that. And so then... It's like a law that's like technically in place, but they don't enforce it. Yeah. But then again, because of our group here, then... Well, legally, them. you're allowed to have, within reasonableness, you're allowed to have, like that could use as a megaphone. You're allowed to have it as long as it doesn't disrupt classes. Mm -hmm. Like, I think that's a legal thing. No, no, no. It, but so again, like, they don't enforce it. And so like, right. when, when that Christian guy came with the speaker the other day, yeah. and again, he's been doing this for like, you know, a while, so like, yeah. no one had said anything. Years. Yeah. Right. yeah. And so there was like, you know, the same day where he came, and then, like, there was cops actually here on site. And so then we actually asked the cops, we were like, so if we can't have, like, you know, just, like, a normal speaker, yeah. wouldn't that, you know, you know what just, that guy? what about amplify, right, amplified right. sound much? And then they were like, well, because we're enforcing it to you, we have to also enforce yeah. it to them, right? Because otherwise, the they then... So, what did, so they stopped him from doing so it? So they actually stopped yeah. him. Oh. And then, you know, he was like, oh, I've been here for years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, you know, but then they got him to leave. But so you notice how the... Like years yeah. and months before, they never really enforced that to yeah. him until... Okay, I have a new question. Yeah, yeah. So, you have a Palestine flag, and you've expressed interest in lives and, and peace and people not getting killed. Mm -hmm. Why not have both flags? Why not have Israel and Palestine and talk about how you don't want people getting killed and support the lives of both? I, I can answer that. Does that actually. make sense? Yeah. Is I that a good? That. Is that a valid question? It's a valid question. Okay. Absolutely. Especially you know, as someone you know, I, I appreciate like all these questions because yeah. like, you know, like as someone who just wants to get more information, right? Right. Okay. And yeah. So, yeah, I, I was ignorant about this like a couple months ago. No, no. Yeah. No, so good. Oh my, like uh, the you. I mean, if we're not having discussions, of, that you know, exactly. it's not well, that's that's a rare thing to find on on the left. Yeah. People so, wanting to talk. Yeah. So actually, we have like a lot of Jewish people. I'll, I'll tell. I'll, there's two points in this. So. Um, let me make sure that I answer your question correctly, but there's like two points. So we actually have like a lot of like Jewish people like with us, like in our movement too. And we've actually celebrated Jewish rituals. Just the other day we, show, we celebrated the Shabbat. Shabbat. Um, and so that's them showing solidarity that it's like, it's not that like, you know, if you're pro-Palestine, you're anti-Semitic. Because that's like a point that like you hear in the media a lot, that it's like if you're pro-Palestine. Yeah, they're saying that they're they're demonizing the Jewish people in certain areas in and then, of course, DeSantis, DeSantis said, yeah, they should just come here. We'll allow them to transfer, stuff like that. So, yeah. And then they're also demonizing. But Wait, I don't... Wait, DeSantis is saying the Palestinians are welcome to come to Florida? And... No, 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 they're Jewish, Jewish people. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, that would be like a total switch up. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was going to get rid of them. 
I don't think I'd take from, the bait if I was a from other universities. Yeah. It would be interesting, you know. Yeah. So, so, yeah. so you, is it your, so, is it your stance that you don't think the Jewish people are treated unfairly in other universities where people don't have, where people are more of a mob-based mentality with this stuff? So they're not. They're not. Well, and part of it is. I have a Jewish friend who was arrested at the Palestine. Like, I know Jewish people are keen, who are getting arrested. Okay. Yeah. And it's just propaganda, is what I said earlier. It's fake news. The other thing I wanted to, to talk to is just to kind of, like, again, give you, like, more info. Like, uh, so, the reason why we don't have, like, you know, the, the Israel flag, and, and this comes down to literally just, like, a flag matter, because, like, you know, at that point, like, you're talking about, like, the state of Israel, which we are actually very against. Like, we are, we condemn, like, the state of Israel, not the Israeli people. Why? Because they're the ones committing a genocide, right? Oh. Yeah. They got a like colonial state. It was but, built on stolen land. But like if you, if you were if back in the eighties you were advocating to divest from invol involvement in South Africa because the way that they were arresting people and so you were like flying an African National Congress flag. But also uh, <laughs> some of the African National Congress people were like setting off bombs and stuff like that. Uh, it wouldn't be morally equivalent to say, well, you should also fly a South African flag mm -hmm. next to the African National Congress flag mm -hmm. because some white South Africans were also harmed. See, like the yeah. white South, like the South African country was the one that was committing the atrocities and instigating the violence. Uh -huh. okay. So you can say like, hey, it's not cool to be running an apartheid state and you don't have to fly the flag of the apartheid state at the same time. Do you, do you think the U.S.'s support for Israel is, is based on the majority religion here of Christianity? Yeah. I think that's definitely like a, there, a factor. Cause I, I tell you the truth, I don't, I don't really see the reason why we support them and give them so much money. I mean, it's a country way over there. Why don't they just take care of themselves? Why, why don't we just let them fight it out yeah. and leave them be? It's my well, stance on it. So. Especially because, I don't know, in my opinion, I think it's also, there's a difference between, like, humer humanitarian aid and, like, military aid. Yeah, yeah, of course. And so, like, you know, at this point, it's, I mean, I don't know for sure, but it seems like there's a lot of humanitarian aid going to that region. Yeah. And, yeah... I don't know, basically just... Yes, sir. I'm yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> sorry. I, I, I wanted to, to go back to what I was saying about, like, um, so again, with the Russian and Ukraine, like, war, and then with this one, right? So when you kind of, like, look, again, like, more like the details, like, uh, you see that there's, like, this really clear double standard. So when Russia invaded Ukraine, like, again, we know, like, the U.S. and Russia have, like, beef, right? Like, they... They, you know, they compete, basically. Oh, yeah, of course. It's, it's us, Russia, and China. Those are the three yeah. major yeah, powers. Yeah. And, and so we know that, like, you know, the U.S. has, like, you know, political interest in do, being better than Russia and Russia, you know, not doing so hard. So then when Russia, you know, took over, like, uh, like Ukraine and started with this, then the U.S. was like, hey, like, no one can take another person's land. Like, that's fucked. Like, you know, we are going to, here's, like, all yeah. the military aid for Ukraine to defend itself. And yeah. so now with, with Israel, where, like, now they're taking Palestinian land, like, uh, now it's like, the U.S. is like, oh, well, uh, actually, yeah. here in yeah. Israel, you should have more of our military. Well, the thing with Russia is, Ukraine used to be part of Russia, right? So, uh, no, no. So, so Russia took Ukraine, and then, like, Which like, used okay. to? Define a time, please. Uh, I, don't, I don't have a time. Okay, table. it was part of, the, it was one of the constituent republics of the Soviet Union. Okay, yeah. But that does not mean that it was a member of the current state that is the Russian oh, Federation. Okay. Well, and historically, it is an independent territory going back and in fact it is you could argue that russia is part of ukraine because the state that we think of as the russian state that goes back a thousand years started as kiev rus right. and then relocated <laughs> east into eastern territory they conquered which became russia right um, okay but right. i want to really quickly address the like why america why a christian america cares about israel yeah there are a whole lot of dominionist millenarian christians who believe that the cycle of history is that the entire world will end that's how they read the um, the the, like, ra the, or the um, Revelation. Yeah, Book of Revelations, the Revelation of, of Saint John the Prophet, um, and their reading says that what has to happen for the world to end is that the Dome of the Rock needs to be destroyed, the Al Aqsa Mosque needs to be leveled, so that the Jewish people can rebuild the Third Temple on the Temple Mount, so that then that can be destroyed, and that's a necessary precursor to the apocalypse that'll end the world, and. They Start, want like, the that. second coming. Yeah, it'll yeah. bring Jesus back, and then we'll, then all the, the good people will go up to so heaven. So they want to keep the, so so the, those Christians want to keep the Jews 
in Israel for yeah, this. You empower to... a, a militant Israeli state that will then go because the, there are absolutely rabbis in Israel who are like, hell yeah, let's 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 just destroy the Dome of the Rock, even though it's been there for what a thousand years. Um, they want to take that down so they can rebuild the Third Temple, right? And then that, of course, would instigate you know like massive war with Iran and also you know like it, would, yeah. it, would, it, would, it would get really nasty and really bad, and there'd probably be nuclear warfare involved. And uh, but that's what they want because yeah. that will end the world. Yeah, I, I agree. And, like these these. Crazy, demeaningist, millenarian. Like they, they aren't. This is this is this is why I think religion is is really bad. Because (laughs) um, it's like on an individual level. Because that works for you, buddy. Sure, but like when it comes to like you know the whole separate church and state. Why is it governing thing? Yeah, why is it governing? Thank you so much. Yes, I have friends who are pastors who like spend all their time giving food to hungry people, and like those those Christians are awesome. Well, I I think toxic in that left left to their own separate church and state. I have to go to work, but hey, comrades, I just want to thank you all for continuing to show up. I can't come out and sit here with you because I've got all sorts of like family and professional obligations, but I do grow organic tomatoes. So have a little bit of tomatoes. Thank you. Have an awesome. Yeah. And keep on asking questions Thanks, and keep buddy. learning. Yeah. That's where it starts. Um, yeah, actually, would, I think I think left to their own devices, uh, good people do good things, bad people do bad things. Would but you like one? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> but in order to uh, in order for a good person to do a bad thing, it, that takes religion. That's my point. That's my That's stance on it. Um, so like, I'm all for like, you know. It's just that I have a hard time thinking that the stuff I see online was was edited. Yeah. I don't. I I, I see the videos of people who are doing your movement, who are blocking people, but then you're well, saying that they're not doing it, and I I don't know. There's something to be said about part of it is if it was like, just about people trying to talk and tell people how they feel and give their stance, I'd be I'd be all about yeah. that. Well, and. Part of it is also there are anti-Semitic people who like are using like free Palestine. Okay, so as so a those are the people like, doing the actions, not the people who really support no, what you're doing. People aren't joining us. Yeah, they well, because you know, they Muslims more than Jews. That's like mm. the people who like, like I've seen it probably before October seventh. You okay. know, a lot of it, like, you know, there's someone online talking about like. Oh, this is my Jewish family's tradition. I'm like blah blah blah, and then you know people commenting free Palestine, and it's like, what does that have to do anything, right? And so there's there's a group of people who use that as like justification for like why they're anti-Semitic, um, but they are not truly people who like believe in the cause. Mm. If that makes sense. So, like, I understand why people where that sentiment comes from and why people feel like that because, you know. I won't say that there's not people who, you know, are anti-Semitic and also, you know, like using this as a way to Mm. perpetuate that. But I believe that part of it is also the media. I mean, we had CNN come out here and like report us and then not put anything online. Yeah, uh, mainstream media is always going to do what they want to do. Yeah. Uh, And I mean, I've seen people like, you know, like submit things to like, you know, different news stations that are like, why are you covering just, you know, like the violence that happens? And it's like, well, that's the story. Yeah, you know, yeah, that, that, that's story. gets the clicks. Yeah, you know, the views so and the clicks. it's unfortunate and it makes it seem, I mean, Ron DeSantis also kind of perpetuates this thing. Like, he talks about how, you know, these encampments, we shut them down and they're violent and things like that. Well, I think that we can agree that a lot of campus, uh, uh, a lot of, a lot of encampments have been toxic and bad, and around the country. But it it might not be. You guys might you guys might not see the ones that are doing the harm as part of your group, but they're still hijacking the group well, to do their and bidding. I don't think right? Am, am I not correct? Anything in Florida that's doing that, and so for them to like Ben Sass also does it to like do op-eds where you talk about you know putting protesters in their place and stuff like that. I mean, you know, they've straight out lied about it. They came out here. Ron DeSantis gave a speech up here. Yeah, I missed that. I wish I was here for that. It it was intense. He was talking about how, like, yeah, they tried to set up an encampment. We had it down in a couple of minutes, you know. And it's like, okay, this is day 21 for us, that we're out here 24-7, you know. And so, like, that's just... Yeah, I heard there was not many people out here, but once people heard that he's going to be here, then a lot more of, of you guys came out and started... They started 
chanting and yelling while he was trying to give his speech. Do you condone that? Yes. No, wait, no, we don't. Like, I what condone. The? Well, she, so you condone it, but <laughs> you don't condone it. They don't condone him speaking. They no, 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 no. Do you condone the people uh, who, are who, who, who are screaming on the side oh, that yes, the, can't, the microphone can hear? Do you yeah, support yeah, them? That was us. I support that. But what, what does that accomplish, though? That's freedom of speech. Oh, okay, I understand that. But if he's trying to give a speech, do you think it's okay well, to do that? Yeah, also, okay. think of it this way. We've been Fuck out him. here for okay. two weeks already. Because he lies. Because he no, lied about things? my taxes support him. Well, part of it is also we've been out here by, for two weeks by the time he decides to come out here. Specifically, he decides to come to Library West out here while we're out here. Like, it very much was like a political move for him to come out here. Yeah. most of the time, people don't give speeches and stuff here. Right. And so, for me, it was like... Part of it is also he's talking about how we're not here. And so us being loud and being able to be heard on the microphones is like proving like we are here and we're fighting for this, right? And like you cannot erase. Do you think us. do you think the yelling kind of supported his assertion of how toxic? I mean, no. No? no. no. Because, so because, because it wasn't like an organized yelling. We were literally well, just saying our... our yeah, I, I, I heard the chants. I heard them. They, they were in unison, yes. Yeah. Santa's is a puppet. He's going to say whatever he wants. <laughs> You don't think that he's trying to do what's reasonable? No. Honestly, no. Um, what, what kind of things does he do that you don't like? Can I ask that? I, okay, so Ron DeSantis is kind of like... I, I have a lot of issues with him, just like in general. Um, especially, I'm... Uh, my major is in conservation, and so I have a lot of beef with him for... Um, you know, there's a lot of things that he kind of talks one way and then does the other, you know. When he first got a elected... A lot of politicians do that? Well, yeah, no, absolutely. <laughs> but, you know, I I mean, when he was first elected, I was kind of hopeful that he would do more for, like, our environment because he created, like, a red tide task force and, you know, all of these different things. But then after the task force made recommendations, he didn't do any of the recommendations that, like, regulate how water use is done in each district. And those people are, elect like put into position by the governor, which is just crazy to me. And all of the people that we have are like agriculture people. And so in, I don't know if you have heard of like the Nestle bottling plant. I heard something about that, yeah. Yeah, so that's been a big fight because the public is very against that. Um, and, you know, it's up to this board that is not elected, you know, to decide if they want Nestle to you know, draw water out of our aquifer or not. Right. Um, and so just, like, things like that where it's, like, I feel like, you know, as much as I try to, like... Because I believe, like, there's nothing, you know... The politicians we have in office are the politicians we have in office. You know, I, I'm i willing to work with whoever's there. But I feel like, like, whatever I say, it's never going to be something that he wants to listen to. Mm. You know, especially because I think, like... I feel like Alachua County kind of is, like, in contrary to, like, a lot of his beliefs and, um, you know, uh, I guess political promises and stuff. So I feel like he, like, is trying to, you know, fight a lot of things that Alachua County does when, you know, really, you know, like, why does the state have to say over, like, you know, like, if we have a single-use plastic ban or... Um, you know, I'm trying to think of the other thing. The uh, GRU thing. That was a lot to do Plastic with use? What you... Yeah, so the... the I, hate the whole, County... I hate the whole paper straw thing they yeah. start doing. It's no, really I'm, bad. Lo I'm honestly... I don't think it's a great solution. It's but not I a solution like at all. It's stupid. If the... Like, they don't work, and, and I think it puts shit in your drink from the fucking paper. Yeah. So it sucks. Well, the thing is, Alachua County passed like a resolution to ban I think it was single use uh, plastic bags so okay. like when you go to Publix like those bags yeah no I need those um, but it was the state that like overturned it Good. and it's like why does the state have power to like oh you know well it's because it's the, it's the whole state it's not it's, so it has, uh, has, has power over the counties I know but like just like the why, federal government has power over all the states but why like I don't think that that's a reasonable thing for them to have power over. So you don't think the states should control their own counties? No, I just think like why, like kind of like why do they care if we have like a plastic bag ban? You know, the other thing is like, um, you well, know, then what are the people going to do when they want their food? Well, there's paper. Okay. You know, 
So, I mean, again, I don't think it's a good solution, but I think if, like, that's what people voted for, then, right. like, you know, then that's what should be represented, right? So. Yeah, the only thing I, I knew DeSantis did late, lately, which I, I don't know if you guys approve, but I do, he, he removed the need for a permit for carrying a gun. Mm -hmm. I, I approve of that. I just wish he went f f further and, and did open carry. Yeah. Do we not have that? I thought we did. No, Texas has it. Doesn't Texas have it? Somewhere has Texas it. Texas has it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, um. But you I can't carry stuff on campus, so. Part of it is. I don't know. I have uh, conflicting feelings on that. Because, like, like, I agree. Like, you know, everyone has their right to, like, you know, be armed and things mm -hmm. like that, but also, like, it's so easy for people to get a gun, you know? Yeah. And well, we I think... we don't have, like, red flag laws or things like that where we can, like, get people who are at risk to, like, you know, surrender Well, in order weapons. to know who's at risk, we have to be evaluated. In order to be evaluated, we have access to a medical care. In order, well, have medical, it, in order to have medical care, they need to have medical insurance, which is why I think... Red flag why, laws this is why I think. Well, like which is why I think everyone should have Medicare for all. Yeah. And I think if we could afford the checkups, if we can afford psychologists, yeah. I personally think that there, therefore we'd have less school shootings because we'd have more people who can be cared for and they can afford yeah. it and they'll be given attention that they need. Because that's the whole reason why we have school shootings is people are messed up. Yeah. No, well, and I I don't know. It, this kind of relates to, like, the whole thing in general. Like, I don't agree that, like, arming people is going to, like, like fight against other people who are armed, if that makes sense. I don't, I don't know what Like, you mean. adding more cops to a school is not going to help against a school shooting, you know? Well, I mean, the, like, there's plenty of instances where the cops just wait outside, you know? Yeah, I saw that one video. They could have gone and done something sooner, and they, and they just, didn't. Yeah. Yeah, I saw and that. so, um... You know, I think, like you said, I think the solution is, you know, we need to go to the root of the problem rather than... Mental health, that's the whole problem. I mean, I mean, we, we live in this country where, you know, okay, capitalism is good, but if you don't have enough social safety nets in place, yeah. then, well, then it's, it's the going to be shit. Like, yeah, yeah. Well, so. and then, I, that's the other reason why, like, I support red flag laws, which there's, it's kind of similar to, like, Baker acting, where it's like, you know, someone either close to you or, like, someone who's, like, a, uh, what are they called? Like, more reporter, mandated reporter, you know, says, like, hey, this person is at risk. And yeah. then they, you know, like, take care of it instead of people being, like, oh, you know, this person, you know, might do something. Right. And then, you know, that's all that's talked about after it happens. Right. Like, oh, people knew it was coming. Right. So... I yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, it's good that you guys could express yourself and, and, t and answer some questions. That's yeah, good. No, thank you for coming and asking questions. I feel like. I but mean, I feel like I went to those one of. The, I feel like if I went to one of those other universities, with more people who were allowed to run amok and, and have other people join to do things that are unacceptable, I think that those people would be less apt to talk. I think it's because it's a smaller community and a few people here. What do you think? What's up? I mean, yeah, I recommend so, you try. So, yeah. I would say, so, there, there's like a couple of things to add, but there's always a lot of nuance to everything, right? So, I, I will say, for example, like, when you came, like, to us, like, you're, I was, like, a little personally off put by it. The main thing for me is the big camera from your chest. Oh, it's not even on. There's no lights on. I use it only when I'm writing. Yeah. And, like, uh, I, since I knew that, like, you have the one nuance of the it's, it's really good. Yeah. So I was like, okay. Well, I had to talk to the hot chick over there. I mean, come on. <laughs> Don't blame me. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, so then I was like, okay, I know like the one wheeler people tend to have like one at least. Yeah. Like, yeah, that, that was off putting. Because, yeah. like, uh, again, like when it comes to like politics and movements I mean, and stuff, like, yeah. there's a lot of like things that just aren't played fair. I mean, well, and, and we've so, been harassed while we're out here. And, what do people do? I mean, people come up and they record us and they like, you know, and part of it is, you know, it's you don't like to like, be recorded and, and stuff? Well, part of it so is I don't want to be put on the internet with it's, that. It's oh. not just because, that, but you know, like, people record and then it's so easy to kind of like take out the context. So, so you would you would support it if someone recorded you and they uploaded everything? Yeah, I would not support it. Oh, okay. Just because like, well, if they upload it, okay. Yeah. But, it's, but 
I would think you would because your aim is to educate and bring awareness, yeah. right? So, like with all of the nuances, I think so. Oh. But most of the time, that's not what happens. And there's like an inherent risk, unfortunately, um, with having, you know, your identity out there. No. Because people, people get doxxed and, you know, like... I'm sure they're not asking you for ID or anything. Right. Well, <laughs> you know, it's one of those things. It's one of your your internet, face is seen. It's and, crazy, right? Like, yeah, like it's, it's you, you probably have like friends who it's like you know like there's like memes and jokes where it's like oh you know like I saw this like cute guy let me like fake Facebook stalk like, yeah, yeah yeah so yeah. so it, it goes crazy it's like having your face out there it's like no like you know I don't need to give you my ID but like people yeah. will find yeah, it. yeah yeah sure, yeah well um, and part of it is also like I mean first of all I don't want people showing up at my house and second of all <laughs> like you know it's not just me. You know, I have other people who live with me, and they're not, you know, doing right, their right, own right. thing. And so, yeah, no, so why does, you know, my family doesn't have to be involved. So, and a lot no. of people are, like, very hateful, like, they say that if you put yeah. Palestine, you're a terrorist. All see, I don't understand, see, I don't, see, maybe it's just because my knowledge on the whole Israel adult slash Palestine is in the, uh, the infant state, mm -hmm. but, um... I, I guess I don't have an opinion. I'm not religious, so I'm not going to just jump on the Israel bandwagon. Um, but then I see all the actions or the reported actions of, of people online on these groups doing things that's inappropriate. So it's like I don't, I'm not on either side. I'm just trying to understand why are we bringing any attention at all to this? Why do we care? But then you explained, well, the weapons were sending money and stuff like that, and we shouldn't be doing that. So in a way, I guess I can understand why bringing attention to it is what we're doing. Yeah. Yeah. But then I would think, well, then if you're doing that, then, then there should be a group out here for the, uh, you know, Ukraine or anti-Ukraine movement, and they want it, should bring attention to that too, so I don't know. Oh. Yes, sir. And, and I was going to say, too, um, so going back to the whole thing of, like, you know, oh, but, like, you know, but I see the coverage about, like, you know, like, these, like, you would say, pro-Palestinian, or what look like pro-Palestinian movements that are, like, they're doing an appropriate thing, and, you know, that's, like, not a good thing. But then kind of going back to the point where we talked before, where it's, like, so it tends to be, like, you know, the bad coverage that makes it out there. Yeah, yeah. The, the, yeah. the news places are, if they don't like what you stand for, they're going to take those people that are doing the bad things, which you guys have said. For the most part, you don't approve of, except for her. She said she approves of the, the chanting and stuff. The thing, the people that are, they're going to take that and they're going to paint that as the entire party's yeah. message and objective. Well, and you know, you also notice like when they're covering things like this, they don't talk about like why are people out here? What is the message? And you know, like it's all about like oh, they did this and that, and, you know, and this is how the police responded, and, you know, right. which it is not doing anything, you know, it's not supporting the cause in any way, you know, it, like, it honestly, be, it just kind of feels like possible. It would be nice, like, again, like, but again, it doesn't get the clicks, right? Yeah. If they were like, oh, look at, like, you know, all these, like, you know, peaceful, like, you know, like, university campus movements, where, like, you know, mm -hmm. the students are actually showing up and selling everything for cost. That doesn't make a good headline, so instead they're like, look right. at like this one like group and like look at how like they screamed at this Jewish person and then it's like again as, as you just said too it's like so they can take a clip and then paint a picture and then generalize the whole movement right and, yeah. and so that's also why you'll see a bunch yeah. of people like on the left I mean, that's like, also well the mainstream media like, lies all the time yeah I mean look and at so, that look at that I don't know if you remember the Trayvon Martin thing but that did that dude was a straight up thug and but they but they took pictures of him when he was 14 and plastered it online and said look innocent child blah 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 I mean, was he not 14 when he was shot? No, 17. And then the whole Zimmerman thing. Well, he he, he attacks uh, he attacked Zimmerman, right? Well, yeah, if he didn't attack him and get shot, he would have gotten a trial. I don't know. And, and then we have the Michael, remember the Michael Brown thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the evidence showed that he uh, attacked the cop, and and that's part of the job. And but but they tried to say that he, of course. I mean, if he wasn't shot, he would be fine. No, but like, 
Now the cops are People should not be like... What, what's that? Now the cops are murdered. Well, well, he wasn't a murderer if he defended and stopped the threat, right? But there still needs well, to be a trial, right? In court. No. Well, you so, can't. He's, 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 well, you can with the forensic evidence, yeah, right? So he still but to, he's already he still dead. Has to go to court, you know. But but he'd have to he'd have to not do the things he did in order to survive, well, in order to go to court. Support. What's that? He sends the cops. Support. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, yeah. like, you know, if he's justified in like doing that, like, okay, but. You know, you need to go to the court and prove that. And, you know, it's not like you're not immune from the law just because you're a cop. Oh, so you know? There, there are two things, which is like, I, I like to sit in there like, who watches the watchman, right? Yeah. So mm. like the one. Mm. And then, uh, to, well, to, I understand there's good cops and there's bad cops, right? So. Yeah. And then the, the other thing I was going to say, it's like, you know, if we can talk about cases like that, then I could also, you know, just say another name, just say Brianna Taylor. Mm. It's like she was literally like an actor. Yeah. Was that chick who was pulled over? No. She was in the, her house. The black chick? Oh. No knock. I, oh. her yeah. I mean, there's a lot of things we can do. I mean, I can refer to the cops who choked that dude in New York for selling cigarettes or something like that. Like, like there's a lot of things. My, my point is that the media is going to take stuff and run with it to, to paint a certain picture when the truth was other than what they show. Yeah. So that was my point. And, and, and so that's kind of like why, again, like, you know, at first, I, I just have to explain a little. But um, that's why you'll kind of like see it tends to be like, you know, it tends to be like the people on the left who want the social movements because, like, you know, we're sick of the status quo. And then it tends to be those, as you were saying, that it's like, oh, when I ask, they don't really, uh, you know, explain much. Um, and yeah. it's because of that we, we kind of, like, worry about... I that. mean, it, it, it's kind of like when I go to those women marches. I lived in Los Angeles for the past 10 years before 2020. Mm -hmm. And they'd have these women marches down in Los Angeles, like, February every year. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'd go down there and I'd interview some of these people. I'd be like... Why are you here? What rights don't you have that men have? And they just don't talk to me. They, they, they can't answer. They won't talk to me. They're just there because they want to be, because it's a fun thing to do. I mean, uh, so they, I would, they wouldn't. In my own opinion, like, most of the time, I. Part of it is, like, you know, there's a lot of things that I have, like, my heart in. And when I'm talking about it with someone, you know, I get emotional and stuff, and people tend to discredit that. Yeah, so, you should try to keep your emotions out of it, unless, I mean, you can't help it, that it's good. As long as your reasoning for what you're saying is not based yeah. on emotion, and it's based on fact, but, that's what matters. I mean, I'm just saying, like, there's reasons why people might not want to, like, have a debate about it. But see, if I was somewhere, and I was, like, doing a men's movement where I talked about all the way men are oppressed and how we're shit on in society, and someone came and talked to me, I would want them to know my stance. I would, I would want to express it. Yeah. yeah. So I guess like uh, when you, oh, okay. oh, here we go. Yeah, See, that's actually what happens. Oh, that, that happens a lot. Have a good day. Yeah. Just, so I, I'm gonna, so they they just post that and just write a few quips about it. Yeah. yeah. He sends it to like a signal chat. It's like it'll be like a team of like of doctors being like, ooh, can we get information? But yet you guys said, or at least she did anyways, that you don't want it to be recorded and put online. Yeah. But if, if that's all you're getting, then you should want to get recorded if they oh, no. show you in a positive, in, in a complete won't. way. They won't. That's the, the thing. Press. What is one picture going to... Yeah. yeah. They just say that basically, like, we support terrorists and all... They, like, a lot of these people believe that all Palestinians should die. Like, I'm not kidding. I don't understand why... They, I don't think either place all should die. I think... I think, you know what I think, I heard, I read online, they, they're saying that the leaders of both sides should be changed to moderates, because right now they're extreme. I think the only way to have a ceasefire and to get along, you have to change the leadership on both sides, because right now both sides have extreme leadership. If you, ha if you have moderates on either side, then they'll be able to work together. That's what I heard. Do you guys support that? Do you think that would help? I, I think I generally agree. Netanyahu has to go, yeah. yeah. Though, um, though also, like, you know, we don't want to wait until Netanyahu's term for the ceasefire, right? Yeah. There's literally people being killed, not well, dying. Right. Killed. And part of it is also, you know, I heard an interview from someone whose family is still, like, one of the hostages that Hamas has. Mm -hmm. And, like, they're frustrated with Netanyahu because it's like, you know, okay, we need to, like... If the point is to try to get hostages back, then, you know, we need to be negotiating, right? right? And so they were frustrated that, like, you know, because one thing is, like, they keep saying, like, no, we're not going to have a permanent ceasefire. You know, we're not willing to do that. But it's like if that's what gets people...
All right, guys, my uh, camera ran out of battery. I tried to gather as soon as I could because I thought it ran out of battery, and sure enough, it did. I left as soon as I saw it ran out of battery. I tried to leave sooner. Uh, I just put in fresh battery because I didn't want to do it while I was in front of them because they found it wasn't recording. I wanted to talk more to them about, with them about, you know, some other stuff that was left issues, but uh, that kind of sucked. Oh, she's fine. But since my battery was out and I couldn't replace it, I couldn't do that. Uh, you know what? A few months ago, I didn't know Jack about the whole Israel Palestine thing, and I still don't fully understand it. To tell you the truth, I don't know why the U.S. supports Israel. What's the point of it? Why do we support them so much? Why don't we just let them all just kill each other and leave them alone? I have no idea. But they're out there doing that. They're saying that all the videos we're seeing are edited. Like, I don't think so. I don't think that's the case. I think there are people out there who pretend to be part of the group who are doing things which are nefarious <laughs> and illegal and wrong, blocking people to go to certain places. Like, I saw those videos, and I might as well believe that they don't exist. I don't know. But yeah, they said they're all about peace and stuff. I'm like, so why not support both sides? And so I guess they think that the Palestine is, is more innocent, and Israel is killing so many people. But I'm pretty sure Hamas has been killing a lot of people too. So have they both been killing people? Like, who's killed more? And how do we determine which side is, is more innocent or deserves our attention, right? Because apparently if, if the U.S. is supporting Israel with funds and arms, general consensus among the leadership at least that Israel is a, is a place of support. But now they're saying something else. So, you know, I wouldn't mind some comments down there because, you know, I, I love controversial topics, you know. I, most of my stuff is uh, about religion, as you guys know. So that is uh, highly controversial, so I cover religion. It's easy pickings well-schooled in it. But this is something I'm not well-schooled in, and I wanted to go ahead and uh, uh, post this online uh, and get you guys' comments about uh, everything that was said in there. I would appreciate it. I'm going to be reading all your comments, and I'm going to be learning from what you say, because I am fairly ignorant on it. This is, you know, I'm, I'm not the type of person who goes around thinking that he knows everything. I've never, I just come across that way when it comes to religion, because it's so easy to destroy because gods are not demonstrable, right? This is something that there's a lot of angles to it, and I don't even know how I can eventually come to the conclusion of which side needs support, or if my original uh, stance that we should support nothing is more valid. Like, I'm not sure. I appreciate your comments. I'm sure there's a lot of things I could have said that a lot of you are watching the video, you're like, oh, you should have said this, you should have said that. My education on this topic is not very vast, so I am incapable of doing the things that are in your head. Okay, just letting you know right now, I'm not, I'm, you could give me that information, but just don't, don't say that, oh, you should have said this, because me has got ignorance, I'm ignorant, um, so anyways, I really don't care about politics, I think it sucks, so I don't like this, but it's become, it's such a, a thing that has gotten so much attention that I guess I should give it some attention and some understanding, so that's why I engage those people. And it's weird to me that they don't want to be recorded. Hopefully the battery didn't run out when I was saying it, but uh, like if there was a, if I was out doing a, a men's rights movement and I want someone to ask questions or want, I would, and they want to film, I would be all about it. I mean, if they want to cut it up and, and show it differently, then so be it, but hopefully some of them won't. I would want my message to go out there and, and for them, for me to be heard. So what's the whole point of being out there if you don't want to be heard? Like, if you're not being heard, if you need to be recorded, that's what we online's for. It's so you can be recorded and heard. That's the whole point of it. it it's kind of stupid to me. Oh, at the end, my, my camera was off and I was about to leave. He goes, hey, thank you for asking questions and thank you for not recording. <laughs> he said that's going to deal with the hair and the skateboard. So that was really funny. Yeah, I mean, I, during the conversation, you, you saw with the, my body cam. My body cam wasn't on because I'd rather use my 360 to do the video than my body cam because body cam takes a little bit more work to, to, to extract and get to a working state for YouTube than this thing. So the whole guy saying that, like, hey, uh, you know, it's, it, it's edited. It's not really happening. I don't understand how he can say that. Like, okay, so everything I saw is edited. I mean, yeah, the, the mainstream media lies about a lot of things, uh, but uh, I don't know, correct me, maybe, am I mistaken? Has I, have I been lied to? Because I've been lied to before. In the past, you know, with the Trayvon Martin thing and Zimmerman, the mainstream media made Zimmerman out to be some sort of monster, a bad guy, when really he was a good guy, and he defended himself, and Trayvon Martin attacked him, and he deserved to get shot, right? But they're all like, no, he shouldn't have been shot. Like, well, the dude's got to protect himself. If he didn't shoot him, he'd probably be hurt, like seriously hurt or dead. 
Zimmerman would have been if he didn't shoot him, right? And the evidence shows he shot an upward, upward angle, so he was in the bottom. So it's like that's a mainstream media lie. And so I know full well not to trust the mainstream media. So if it's the mainstream media out there trying to say that Palestinian groups, these pro-Palestinian groups on campuses are doing bad things and they're not, I don't know. I, I think they are to some degree, but I think that maybe since the mainstream media doesn't like their what they're about, that they try to say that, oh, they're only violent and nothing else, and they're not supporting the actual message they're trying to say. So that's the point of my video, is to upload this and to say, well, this is this is them being heard. And I'm sorry, I don't have the knowledge to, to question much of what they're saying to me. I basically just listened and ask questions. I want them to present themselves in a way that they feel they're being heard. So that's, that's my point. That's what I was trying to do. Sorry, I know I'm always wearing my helmet. I'll take it off so you guys can see me. Uh, my hair's kind of a mess. Hope you guys don't mind. So I just want them to be heard, and, and, and I want them to get their point across. In a way, it's educating. Every time I have a conversation, it's educating me, right? Even after even after the debates I have with all the preachers, it's always, it's always education. Even if it's very slight, I always get some sort of education. And that's what discussion's all about. It's about getting educated. That's what debating is about. When you debate people on stuff, you are um, challenging your own beliefs and your learning. And that's what it should be about. It shouldn't be about, oh, I'm going to show this guy I'm right and, and they're wrong. Sure, if you know you're right, then yes, it's, that, that could be a factor in why you're debating. But another thing that you should always use in every debate is you want to learn about how the world works, you know, what's true, what's not true. And I told them, I said a lot of lefties don't like to have discussions. They will not talk about their stance or, you know, they don't want to discuss their position. I mean, that's, that's just the case a lot. Those guys were, I think it's only because I came at them with an uh, inquisitive here in mind. And, and so I came at them in that way, and then they were more receptive, and then they uh, talked to me. So I was able to ask all the questions I wanted to be. Unfortunately, as soon as I saw my batteries out, I, I couldn't talk anymore. Uh, so, but hopefully I got enough information from them for you guys to have a judgment and to give me an education on exactly their stances and, and what they and the validity of the claims they make because that's what I care about. I care about how valid are the claims they make, right? Because I can go online and search this and search that. Over the past month or so, I've come to realize that Hamas is it very well may be a terrorist organization that's shitty and doing shitty things. I, I don't, it seems that way. I really don't know why we're supporting Israel. Is it because that guy said it's because of the Christianity and how it's, it's due to the prevalent crappy religion that's in place in this country? I mean, that could be it. So I don't support us supporting Israel. I really don't see the point of that. Maybe someone could explain to me why I should give a shit about that. And the Palestine is their message. The message they gave today is that, is there some truth to that? Is it valid for what they have? Uh, uh, they have a valid concern. Is their stance appropriate? The whole thing about Lockheed Martin and us making and selling weapons and arms and stuff. I mean, we're going to try to make money, right? That's, 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 that's what they're doing over here, trying to make money. Do I approve of that? I don't know. I think I need to have more understanding of exactly what's going on to really have a solid opinion. I think it's important that we don't hold conclusions about how the world works or, or what's going on unless we have a valid education in exactly what's going on and what the facts of that. That's my stance. It's always been my stance. I care about the truth. I've defined the word truth for you guys. I've defined the word reality for you guys. That's what I care about. People shouldn't be joining left or the right, right? We shouldn't be joining religions. We shouldn't be joining groups, right? Because what happens when you join a group, guys? You outsource your thinking to somebody else. You're saying, hey, I don't know how to think properly. Would you please do that for me? And that is just a horrible way of going about understanding how the world works or knowing truth from fiction. You got left or you got right out there. That's it. You don't have people who are neither who have a solid channel and a following. You just don't see it. Anyways, then, guys, um, thanks for listening. Please tell me what you think of the video, of the questions I asked, questions, concerns. Leave a comment below. I will read everyone's comments. I always read all of them. I think this is an important topic to cover. And I think, and I don't know of anywhere you can get unbiased information. Like, I don't, is there people, other people online on YouTube talking about this topic with an unbiased view? I don't know. I don't think so. Peace.